attention? Yes. Okay. Get myself orientated. Grab the bullet and release it towards the target. Alright, so this is just in time incorporated on PSVR. Um, it's been a long time coming getting this one. I've waited for it. Um, I was hoping it would come out on disc. I was waiting for Perp to bring this game out on disc. Uh, but it hasn't happened and it went down in price in the sale. So I had to jump on and it's a fucking brilliant idea for a VR game. It's, oh shit, I just messed that one up. It's a kind of superhero simulator. Grab the bullet, fire it out. So I haven't played much of this. Um, as people enter, I'll probably repeat myself. So this um, ramble right now is just for prosperity for when the video is played back later. Holy shit. So this is very much like Super Hot at the minute. But you can grab the bullets and send them back. Nice. That is so nice. Uh, uh, uh. How's it going? Hello Danish Gaming. I'm good man. So yeah, I've waited a long time to get this game. Ron Klump, age 70, high profile politician. I'm his bodyguard. The threat is, we've got to save our client by using the assassin's bullets against him. Status unresolved. So, this is my first mission. So I've put up there in the link. Uh, and I've tweeted this out, but this is the very first proper mission. So we have got to be the bodyguard for Ron Klump. 70, high profile, po who could that be? Who could that be? Yeah, yeah, I picked it up in the sale. Now you guys, you got to let me know uh, what the volume levels are like. Is my voice audible over the game, or is the game too loud? That kind of thing. Because um, I haven't messed with the levels at all. But yeah, Ron Clump. Hey, Ron, how's it going? Congratulations on winning the world, man. Um, oh Jesus, what a planet we're living on. When Ron Clump can be president of the world. Prevent the shooting. Nice. Oh! So we've got the military here, of course. Press. She looks like uh, MSNBC. Looks like Fox over there. Dude! Dude, dude! Oh yeah, you can teleport. Shit! I tried to walk across the bed of my room. I forgot I can teleport. <laughs> wait, wait. Should I just help him get a better angle? <laughs> hey, hey, laser-eyed Trump. Oh. <sighs> nearly. I you nearly had him that time, hippie. Is it a hippie with a gun? What's going on there? A hippie? Oh, of course, a hippie be f shooting Trump. But hippies don't have, well, they do kind of. In America, hippies do have guns. Everywhere else, hippies don't have guns. In America, hippies have guns. Can I shoot the hippie? I don't want to shoot the hippie. They shoot the camera. Dude. <laughs> um, oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, I failed. Oh. It is too tempting. Oh yeah, well, thanks for stopping by, man. Let's try this one again. All right, all right. The only wise decision our client has made is purchasing one of our All right, Ron. Oh, cheers. Yeah, anybody who's watching, like, share, get people in this stream, man. This is going to be a fun game. This is the first time I've played it. I can't shoot the hippie. Right, well, let's, let's, let's line up loads of bullets. Oh, they're too fast. Can't do that. 
I'll wound him in the foot. It's just a flesh wound. You'll be all right, man. You'll be all right. Listen, put the gun down. It's all good. Save the day, Mr. Clump. You're welcome. Let's go for some coffee. Mr. President, do you think I was right in what I did? You were wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Sorry for shooting you, Mr. President. Standing in your own personal office. Nice. Even some of our senior agents have yet to earn this privilege. So oh, please oh. do not brag. It is unbecoming. Now back to work. Follow me. The death prevention experts. Nice. Blood on, yes. Definitely blood on. I already have that. The clipboards here are all open cases. Oh. Rat one and hit play to start the assignment. Oh, my office. Right, nice. Rat outbreak. What's that? Building fire. Bridge escort. Tutorial. I don't need the tutorial. Rat outbreak. Clients, Dr. Peter. Threat. Uh, US? What the fuck does that mean? Agent level junior. Rat outbreak. What's that one? I should go for the juniors one. Well, they're all going to be junior. Yeah, they're all oh, junior plus, junior. Marines, combat, multiple. Let's just start with rats. Let's get this rats one done. Peter from his unusually large rodents. Oh, unusually large rodents, eh? The doctor's rodents of unusual size are escaping. Dr. Peter, age 43, you need to keep better control of your rodents, mate. You are known for species development. Hey, Mineral Man, how's it going? You are not known for your skills in keeping rats in containment. Holy shit, those are some big rats. Holy shit. That's a big rat. Can I cut the rat? <laughs> Can I cut the rat? <laughs> oh shit, look at all them rats. Wait. Oh, they're coming in. I've got... Uh, listen, I've got a standing knife here. I mean... You might be... Can I inject the rats? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Wait. Wait. Oh, shit. My blade's gone. Fire. Get out of the way. I forgot I could teleport. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Did you? I'll definitely check that out. Wait. Oh, he's dead. Shit. Wait, wait, no he's not. What can I do? Okay. That was rubbish. Okay, face the camera, face the camera. Right, okay. What's this? This guy killed something. Oh no. Nostalgia Vortex, cool. Yeah, I'll check that out. And that was, that was your first time playing it, wasn't it? You're new to Shamu. Is that right? I think that's right. It's been nice to see a lot of new players come to Shenmue. And a lot of kind of old Shenmue players introduce it to their partners and heard some really cool stories about that. It's really nice. Yeah. What, you mean with the game glitching? There's been, yeah, there's definitely been some uh, audio problems with it. 
I don't know why the console patch system takes longer than PC, man. The patch has been out for PC for a week now, uh, I think. Feels like a long time anyway. Uh, but the console... Shit. System is a bit more convoluted. Right, where is my camera? I need to orientate within my room. Shit. Yeah, I missed completely. Oh. Oh, dear me. This is terrible. Wait, out of play area. Shit. He's just getting bigger. Oh, dude, this is a junior mission? This is difficult. Right, I'm going back to try a different one. Yeah, Mineral Man, I've been waiting to buy this for ages. I was kind of hoping that Perp would put it out on disc. Well, there's about a dozen PSVR games that I've been holding off on waiting to see if Perp would bring them out. But, yeah, it doesn't look likely, I guess, at this stage. And he went down in the sale to about five quid. So it's a really good deal. Use green valves by the door, nice, I will do that next time I play that level. But I'm going to try a different level now, because that level kicked my ass! Building fire. 1137, Grove Street, Edge. Varied. There's a fire! Building's caught fire and our clients are trapped inside. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, nice. There's bound to be another price drop before Christmas. Probably um, Black Friday or something. Yeah, the price is going to come down again, definitely. PSVR is just going to... Yeah, do you know what? You get used to the wires. And I think we're stuck with wires for a bit for with VR for the next uh, generation because um, you just you need to have like the certainty of that really fast and reliable data transfer. You know, you need to be able to know that you're not going to drop below like 60 frames a second and you know you're not going to drop frames that kind of thing so you need the reliability of wires i think i don't think we're there yet we've been able to be to do that level of data transfer as reliable as you'll need it for vr wireless really i mean i know the vive's already got a wireless adapter so i could be talking out of my ass um i don't know how that's been trying out for people yeah firewall should should sell some headsets man definitely yeah, you don't get tangled up, you know. It's you do. It's, it's surprising you don't actually get tangled up. Yeah, not very often anyway. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Not everybody's going to be able to have that. <gasps> Ooh. So I got what? Do this? What for these things? What? Bounce it on that? Oh shit! What is that? Oh, right! <laughs> oh, nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, he died. So one person dies and that's the end of the level? Shit. Right. Okay. Let's try again. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. I'm really interested to see what... Um, yeah, what, do you reckon? Did you what? Because it it's too dark. People are saying it was too dark. It is a really dark section of the game. Um, there's an easy way of getting to warehouse number eight. There's like a really easy way of getting there, but yeah, it's just knowing the route. Right. But it's been really cool to see um, new uh, Shemu people, new people playing Shemu. Pitch black. Yeah, it's dark, man. Oh shit! Come on, right. Oh what? I'm terrible at this game so far. First time playing it. That way, you know, you get the <laughs> first time reactions live, but it also means I might be a bit shit because I haven't played it yet. Now, if I go all the way over here and place them instead of trying to fucking throw them like that, put one there. Oh, shit. He's going to bounce again. Oh shit, is that going to be... Oh yes, mate. Right, I need to use my uh, 
Click turning. Yeah, the festival was cool, man. Cheers. Yeah, there's like a um, shit. Hang on. I went to a couple of festivals. Oh, they fell out my hands when I was turning around. Shiza. Oh, Shiza. Oh my god. Yeah, a couple of festivals I went to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got him. One was a circus festival. I've only played. Oh, come on. I've only played a little bit of PC VR. Um, I've only played uh, like about an hour of it, maybe. Uh, Robo Rescue, I played, and um, yeah, on Rift. And it, yeah, it was nice. Robo Rescue didn't have free movement though, so I didn't have the full kind of uh, Rift experience with the dual thumbsticks moving around. But yeah, it's you know the tracking's better. It's a little bit more solid. Like PSVR, sometimes you can have a little bit of shimmer in the kind of game worlds sort of thing, little wobble. Um, I didn't see any of that on uh, the Rift, so that has, seems to have more stable tracking, um, more precise tracking, I guess. But I do prefer the PSVR screen, like there's just no screen door. I mean, people say it's lower resolution, but I don't know. It depends what the developers do with it. There's some really nice looking PSVR games, and not having that screen door is... Um, yeah, it's it's cool. I think it looks nicer than the PC headsets overall. Not that the screen door's a massive ball egg. It's not that bad, but right. So I just need to lit. Oh fuck! Oh shit! I just need to litter this place. Ah no! Time pause. All right. Um. Yeah, that's it. You don't notice at all. And, you know, stuff like Resident Evil 7 and Wipeout and stuff like that, just the immersion, the 3D aspect, the fact that you're focusing on depth in games as well in a way that you just can't elsewhere in games, even 3D TV games, isn't, you know, it's not the same, you have that depth perception, that looking around, that sense of presence of being actually in somewhere, all of those extra aspects that VR gives you. You, you, you don't really have much time to really care about low resolution and that's just going to get higher and higher like the next generation of headsets resolution is going to be ridiculous moving forward VR is going to be crazy yeah well listen you can kind of do it I could play the forklift in first person mode on cinema screen mode with on the, in the VR headset so I need to do that I haven't done that yet need to play the the largest possible cinema screen in in the VR headset playing Shenmue forklift first person. That'll be sweet. No, exactly. But like, right? It's 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 made gaming like exciting for me again, man. And fucking crazy. I've always liked kind of gadgets and toys, peripherals in games like Guitar Hero, that kind of thing. But like right now, I'm stood in the middle of my room. I've cleared all the furniture out. I've got two sticks in my hand as hands. It's just it's new shit, man. It's crazy. God, I'm really bad at this level. Right, I think. Yeah, okay, fuck it. Let's try something else. Let's try something else. Yeah, this game's quite difficult. Or maybe I'm just shit at it. You, you kind of... That's the thing as well, in VR as well, it's easy to forget how much freedom you've got. Like, there, I could have been moving around more. Like, I, I, you forget how much freedom... The teleporting, yeah, fair enough. But just because you're in there and kind of dealing with the fact that you... Yeah, feel like you are somewhere else, that whole um, immersion aspect of VR distracts you enough that you kind of forget how much freedom you've got sometimes. I don't know if that makes any sense. Bridge Escort, right. Three Marines aged 22 to 38. Our boys in blue need help. The threat, get the three Marines across the bridge. Expect heavy resistance. Holy shit. Well, I didn't do too well on those other levels, and this is Junior Plus. So, come on then. Protect the soldiers in blue uniforms. They intend to cross this very... Is it UN peacekeepers? With or without your Why did you leave Rwanda, man? 
Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, yeah, third person games can work surprisingly well in VR. That is true. Um, Press of Vendesta Rising, the RPG uh, Grindathon, which is actually a lot of fun. It is a lot of grinding. Fucking is a lot of grinding. But holy shit, look at this. So I've got to protect these dudes as they get across the bridge. There's going to be bullets coming in. You listen, don't piss them off. Oh shit. Bring it on, boys. Nobody's shooting. Literally. You guys are employed for your ability to spot dangers, and we literally just walked up to you. Oh, look at that. Pluck the bullet out of the air. Woo! Oh, this level's so much more fun than the last two. <laughs> they were difficult and frustrating. This is awesome. I'm in a slow motion Lego X rated action movie. Fuck off, what? Uh, no, you don't. Oh shit, what happened there? Who, what? Who? What? what? Where did that come from? Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I missed one. I missed a bullet. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, this is nuts. Orientate. PSVR, every so often you just have to lift the headset and just check where you are in the room. Yeah, okay, right. I says, that dude there. Why do those buildings light up when I do that? I don't know. Oh. See, I'm, is it nice? I've I still haven't played really any God of War game for mu for very long. Um, yeah, this remasters out of that now, isn't it? The originals. I'm sure there must be remasters of fucking everything these days. There's like loads of classics from sixth generation that I never got around to that I'm just gonna have to fucking get the remasters for. But is it even better? Is it always better to get the remasters? Like I played the um, uh, de was it um, Beyond Good and Evil remaster, and it just didn't look quite as nice. Like the high res did not do the textures any justice. I'm saying, which is weird. I think the Shenmue re remasters, well not remasters, re-releases did do them justice. Doesn't always work. Yeah. You reckon? But like sometimes the game engine is kind of from its time and you know what I mean? It's kind of shown up by those types of upgrades. Um, I don't know, like Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, are those remakes uh, or remasters? You think those are worth having? Oh shit, the bed. Right, so how can I... Alright, so I... Um, right. Oh, I missed that, Phil. I was too busy looking around thinking, what the fuck has just happened? There's just been a huge explosion. All my dudes are about to die. Yeah, is it? Sweet. So, I mean, I, I never, I just never got around to it. It's, it's, it's a fucking abysmal, isn't it? How could I have not played? Well, I did play a bit of it. It's one of them many games that I played a little bit of and then got distracted by something else and didn't go back to it. Anyway, let's get rid of that annoying noise. What happened there? How the hell am I going to avoid that explosion? I don't... Right. Katie McKendrick, get off your phone. Katie McKendrick, get off your phone. Who the fuck is Katie McKendrick? She's always on a bloody phone, swear to God. Right, it's bullets, I don't know, is that from my guy? That's from my guy. Yeah. Make my day, punk.
Yeah, boy. Oh, wait, I need that. <laughs> nice. Glad to be of service. Right now then, I'm supposed to deflect those huge things. Yeah. Do you know, I'm waiting to play Shenmue 2. I think there's a bit of update that needs to come for that for me to enjoy that game at its fullest. Apparently in Shenmue 2, the darts aiming is off. And that's sacrilege, because I fucking love darts in Shenmue. Ooh. Wait. What, well, I can't... Shit. Ah, well, how, I don't know how I'm supposed to stop that. Oh, God. Nice. That is good going. Six days straight? Was she off work? What was, did she, I mean, were those like full, lo are, are we talking like a little bit in the evening? Are we talking six days straight? Was she, did she take some holiday? What the, six days, explain. Darts in the first game is playable. Darts in the second game, apparently, I haven't tried it yet, is a bit difficult. The, the aiming is off in it, apparently. Right, anybody who's played this game, or anybody who's got any ideas, how the fuck am I supposed to stop that big explosion happening? Yeah, my, my highest score on the darts this time round is about 570. I mean... It's addictive. Catch the missile. Oh god, catch the missile, of course. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Seen any sailors? I think I'm gonna look for some sailors around here. Anybody seen some sailors? Hey, what do you do to try bar Yokozuka? I think they're all you know, playing pool in some bar. Who found some sailors? Anybody seen some sailors? You remember that day? Hi, do you remember that day when I found some sailors? I found some sailors that day. Silly sausage. <laughs> I found some sailors. Doink. Right, I'm going to catch the fucking missile this time. You take this shit. Doink. Lots of bullets. Oh shit, doink. Can get that dude up there. Oh my god, but oh god, he's dead. I die. I failed. I failed. I thought I was doing so well. There's more bullets flying. I'm sure they were firing more fucking bullets that time. Okay, let's go. See, if they're fucking boys in blue, why do they not need my protection? These guys, look, they got grenades and shit. Ooh, they got grenades and shit. Oh, I'm not very good at throwing. Uh, shall I go pick it up? Oh, underarm. Okay. 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 Underarm is the way to go, apparently. See, this is when I wish I could film, uh, stream myself playing as well. Like, when you can, obviously, when you stream PS4 TV flat gaming, you can have a little cut, cut out of you, kind of, your face. It'd be so sweet to have a little cut out of me fucking playing this. It's quite entertaining to watch someone play VR like a fucking spanner in the living room with a stupid headset with lights on. Right, 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 right. Uh oh, wait. Wait. One more. Okay, 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 okay. What, what happened? What? Who? What? Who? What? Who? Where? Is that a dude up there? Did I miss a dude? Is that. Is that. Did I miss a dude? That's a dead dude. Who the fuck? Right. Gotta get past this level. I gotta, I gotta catch that bloody rocket at least. Uh, orient it. Step back a bit. Here we go. Yep. Going soldiers in blue uniform. Jesus Christ. Oh, what if I sh No. No, Jesus Christ. 
exactly the character I had in mind doing that voice. Jesus Christ. South Park. Whoa! Come on then, come on. Shoot, you bastards. You stay back, sniper. Oh yeah, mate. Lining shots up like that in 3D is so satisfying. Right. Come here. Come here. Come here. That should be. Right. Yeah. Well, I thought I got him with that previous bullet. Now then, just look around because someone always gets shot at this point. I don't know how. Again, what the fuck is that? I'm missing, I am, I need to stay back. I need to stay behind. So I can see what is happening. That guy keeps fucking dying. Hang on, where's my, where's my restart? Yeah. So you can only play, uh, well you can only uh, stream the gameplay because of course the VR is using the camera, but it will be so sweet. I mean, you probably could rig, of course you can rig it up, <laughs> if you actually have any PC skills or equipment, you could rig up to stream with the game and yourself, like uh, PS PSVR Frank does it, uh, there's other, I guess, well, PSVR Frank's the only one I've seen doing it, but obviously it's possible to stream VR plus you playing the game, uh, and the gameplay, but yeah, I cannot do that. Oh yeah? Yeah, well, like, um, one of the things I really wanted to do with VR when I first kind of got into it was uh, do 360 videos. So I bought a quite cheap 360 camera and some fun with it. There's uh, a, a game room tour you can see on my channel that isn't linked in the low bar because I didn't realise I was going to mention it. Um, but you can check it out on the channel. Um, I missed that comment. Sorry, I was distracting myself with talk of 360 videos. Um, but yeah, the camera I got was a bit shit to be honest though, so I kind of want to upgrade and get a 4K one. You can do 360 porn, there is 360 porn, like 3D, 360 or 180 3D uh, porn, yeah, it's mental. Of course that was going to happen. But, um, but 360 video, like I did some uh, 360 videos at Glastonbury, for example. I wanted to document that in a unique kind of way because it's one of my favourite things to do. One of my places, favourite places. And it's just such a unique, crazy place. With it's the perfect a, a festival is a really cool place to do 360 videos. I think because uh, you know every every direction. Oh God, what's happening? Every direction you look, something interesting is happening. You know so. But yeah, the resolution in the camera that I got was just pretty shit. So anything further than I don't know, 50 metres, maybe 30 metres away. We just looked really blurry and it lost the colour and the definition by I can just by quite a big degree. So you need 4K at least. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have you had a bad time in roller roller coaster uh, VR? Eh? <laughs> right. Is this some secret dude who comes out from behind there? Because some grenades over there. Hang on. Oh shit, I'm so bad at grenades. <laughs> See on me what forgetting I'm at, what freedom. Ah! Forgetting how much freedom you've got <laughs> shit in the game. Just to diligently stick into this path I had that was not working, but can't really think what else I can do. Probably can I can I go up there? No. Oh. Maybe I just need to right go right up to the fuckers. That's not gonna hit anyone is it? No. Do they bounce? Do the bullets bounce? Oh shit. Oh oh Right, okay look behind you. Look behind you. Did I just pause it? I did pause it. 
Oh, I can pause. That's genius. Right. Right. See, that makes it even worse that I actually died, because you can pause this game. There's no reason to ever lose. Oh, that didn't work. Turn it around. Yeah, baby! Oh, yeah. Oh, that was shit. Well, that's not too bad, actually. It's going to hit. It's a good job the helicopter was raising up a bit. Go, 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 go! Resident Evil 7. Have you played it on the TV? Because I haven't played that on the telly yet. I've only played it um, in VR. I've played it like two or three times now. And that game is fucking life-changing, man. Like... <sighs> you... <laughs> I never kind of thought that games would be that affecting. That Hello, Gamertag, how's it going, man? Yeah, someone just mentioned Resident Evil 7, so I'm about to gush about it. You know what that's like. Holy shit. Like that, that game makes me think that VR in the future is going to be too realistic. Too fucking good. Because that game's already that scary with a fucking controller in your hand. And the lo relative, relatively low resolution, it's already fucking scary enough. I'm good, man, I'm good. You've been busy, you've been doing some cool streams recently. How's the uh, Firewall Zero? That looks fun. I, I ordered it yesterday. Man, there's so many. I didn't realize how many games are out on the US store that aren't out in the EU yet. Like, there's loads of games that I'm looking forward to that aren't out yet in the EU. Jesus Christ. Horror games, man. It's. Uh, it works so well in VR, it plays upon your fear receptors very effectively. Like, it just... Yeah. Like, my schedule's all over the place. I don't know when I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i get a chance to really play that. Because I need to have the house to myself. Like, I couldn't play that with the missus in the house. There's no fucking way. There's no way I could play that game, Firewall Zero, when my missus is in the house. No. Right, someone said throw the green vial at the door. Is that what they said? I'm sure someone said that. So yeah, I mean, what's the, you know, what's the crossover between the PSVR community and the Shenmue community? How much Shenmue love is there in the PSVR community? Because this channel is like a two-pronged attack. That's my two focuses at the minute, is PSVR and Shenmue. Oh, well, that didn't do anything! Bastard! Oh, I just made him bigger. Oh, no! Yeah, this knife doesn't last forever, though. Yeah, shame you's a VR, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck is this channel all about, man? No one knows. Yeah, you, you fucking ring them. You ring them. You fucking ring them. These little cunts need to die. <gasps> oh, oh, I've actually done it. I've actually done it. This is the first time I've actually done something in this game. So far, I've sucked at it. Me complete. Oh my god. It's the first one I've completed. I blagged it. I'm way off centre. Reorientate, move back. Demolition Man. Hey. Hey, now that was a cool film. A f what, yeah, a game of Demolition Man. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Done that one. Did I do that? Oh, I did do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a set. What am I talking about? I'm off my tits. I've passed that one as well, didn't I? Hey, Game Attack, nice to see you. Take care. Alright, the firewall. Yeah, that is true. And that's a shame, because like, with today's technology, you've got some fucking badass games and VR games of 
your favourite movies would be next level awesome. Right, let's just litter this area with those things. And not pay any attention to what the dudes are actually doing. Oh shit. That was lucky. Oh god. Is that the right? That might not be the right way to play this level. Because where the fuck's that dude gonna come down? <laughs> yeah, mate. Oh, don't you die over there? That's not fair. Oh, come on. Oh. No. 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 I don't think you can pick these things back up again once you throw them, can you? Shizer. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. There's only there's only a couple that died. I mean, what do you expect, man? Oh, I did do it. Nice. Sweet. So, you know, collateral damage, man. You know, a few died. Most of them were fine. It's just government cutbacks, man. We can't save everybody. <laughs> we sent the PVR. Holy shit. <laughs> Someone had to go right there, didn't they? Of all the fucking films you could have said you'd like to see in VR, we went all the way straight to Human Centipede. Not to 60. Oh yeah. Halloween VR. Yeah man, well that's it. Any scary games are gonna work any scary films are gonna fucking work in VR. Blair Witch VR. <laughs> First Blair Witch. Original Blair Witch, obviously. Not the bullshit that followed. Every agent is given a personal access code to this part of the building. Okay. Yours is 0709. Do I have to remember that? 0709. Alright. So what, I can go in either of these places? That looks very important in there. That looks like some kind of global control centre that I shouldn't have access to. I doubt my code is going to get me in there, is it? Let's try. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right, Phil. See you back in a bit. I'm going to have to get a drink in a minute. My, my throat is dry. Nice. Congratulations on your promotion to Associate Cheers. Prevention Agent. I deserve it. We trust you will continue to keep the interests of our clients your top priority. Yeah. Argus. What's this? Body search. What? Body search, age varied, that could be troublesome. Many clients. Threat, someone in the park is hiding a bomb. Find it, but protect our clients. Okay, let's go and touch up random strangers in Lego world. Someone <laughs> is hiding a bomb. Yo. Full body searches may be necessary. Alright, see you soon, Mineral Man. Looking forward to what? What at the end of that say? You're looking forward to what? Play Shenmue, probably. Yes! I'm going to play that as well when I'm too tired to play this. I've been at work for 12 hours today, so I'm quite knackered. And I work on my feet, for the most part. I need to search some people. Is it in your... No, it's not under your hat. Is it... Oh! My next video! Oh, that's nice. Look what he's wearing underneath! Ha 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 ha! He's, he must be one of those cross-dressers. Jesus. Explosion. Right. So it was over there, was it? It was the ice cream man. What did it? I guess it's going to be a different person every time, wouldn't it? It would be too easy if it was just the ice cream man every time. Let's try. Someone is hiding a bomb. Full body searches the picture of the ice. What? I don't know. Find the bomb before it's too late. Oh, but the pit. But can't just be that dude there. Was that like the clue? Well, hmm. No. <gasps> the 
fucking workman had it. Oh, I should have thrown it. Death to you all. What was your motive? You didn't look like a terrorist. Yeah, I'm profiling. Yeah, I'm profiling. What did Timothy McVeigh look like? He looked a bit like him. Maybe he did look like a terrorist after all. We've learned something today. Could you hide a bomb in his glasses? I don't think so. No. Yeah. 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 Oh, what, what? It was in your ice cream box all along. Okay. Orient it. Aha, there we go. Your little shimmy. Back in the center spot. We're golden. Let's go. Right, let's go. Strip, strip, motherfucker. Nope. It couldn't be there, could it? Is it there again? No. Oh, what's this dude gone? What? Oh, it was in his trousers. Of course it was in his trousers. Is that a bomb in your pocket? Are you just happy to see me? There was a bomb, actually. I'm not happy to see you. That's why I've got a bomb. I'm not happy with anyone, that's why I'm trying to kill everybody with a bomb. If I was happy to see anybody, I would not be killing you all with bombs. Okay? Hey, strip, strip. Oh, this game is so dodgy. And in the chicken nest. Oh, he's got a gun. Is that because I stripped you? Well, most Americans carry guns, so that's... Oh, it's on his bottom. Oh. Right, so it turns out having a gun did make him a more likely suspect. Dolly Van Dastic. Listen, isn't it weird how you always remember the lyrics to songs that you learn early on in your life, but it's harder later on? Is that just me? Is that just my experience because my memory is shit? Because I've smoked too much weed, probably. But I can remember all the words to la di daddy. We likes to party, we don't cause trouble, we don't bother nobody, we're just some something who own the mic. And when we rock up on the mic, we rock the mic right for all my dogs who be hell, just to see you smiling and do it yourself. Well, it's cool when you cause a cozy conditioning, which we create, because that's our mission. So listen close to what we say, because this type of shit happens every day. I woke up around 10 o'clock in the morning, gave myself a stretch up, a morning yawning, went to the bathroom to wash up, put some stuff in my face, and put my hands upon a cup and said, oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the top dog of them all? There was a rubble double. Five minutes at last, said the mirror said, you are, you can see the best. Said, well, that's true. That's why I never have no. So I slipped off my khakis and my gold leaf, teeth, something like that. Use oil over lake because my skin gets pale. Then I got the file for the fingernail. Something like, uh, I can't remember. I, I do lose it after a bit. <laughs> but yeah. And so on and so forth. No, I don't need to strip people anymore. If I did that now, it would just be office harassment. That was my mission in the last level. It is not my mission now. Secret lair. Oh, sweet. That's got to be a good level. Secret lair. Tough as nails. Prevent death by ultra laser. Yeah. Clean, dry with my body and hair. I threw on my brand new doggy underwear. Yeah, Electron Hollis, man. That's a cool game. That's a lot of fun. It's like Guitar Hero, but for DJs. Well, there was DJ Hero, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, that's Guitar Hero for DJs, because it's fucking DJ Hero. But this has more freedom, more control of all the kind of musical parts. Oh, I missed that. Type that again. Yo. Yo. How do I prevent death by laser? Oh, 
Oh, this bullet thing is awesome. Fuck. Mm, I'm not very good at it, but it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Uh, this is Matrix Simulator, man. Support was a Matrix Simulator, but this is even closer to a fucking Matrix Simulator because you can grab the bullets and send them back. Support, you just dodge them. We can catch them as well. Oh, dude, that lady's gonna kill that girl. That I can't get this guy. She's dead. All right, I can move. I'm forgetting. I've got teleport. Right, let's go. Okay. Yo. Yo, I move around. I move around like this. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Who's that Mr. T looking motherfucker? No, he's not looking. Look at Mr. T. Oh, he's not got a beard or anything. Right, now I've got to go what? Go over, oh, get a, maybe a sword. Is it too late to steal your mum's corned beef? It's never too late. Oh, oh, right, so maybe... No. I get that. If I chop the head off, I get the head off here. Yes, check this! Oh, wait. Oh, I was too busy marvelling at my own ingenious solution, which was the obvious solution all along that the game was hoping you would stumble across. And she died. So, shoot him, cut the head off. Eye entry lock sorted. Let's go, let's go. Ah. Uh. I need to be more aggressive with it. Corn beef hash. Man, don't like corn beef. I'm not a fan of corn beef hash. Especially since I'm a freegan now. Yeah, freegan, I said it. I said it. Oh! Oh fuck, come here. Shit. Okay, okay, am I losing tracking? I don't know where I am in the room. Let's try this dude over here. Chop your head off. No, apparently not. <laughs> what for you? Oh, got him. Yo! I took ages to get the head off. I gotta do it again. Yeah, I'm a freegan. Like, we don't buy any animal products in the house, but personally, I work somewhere where there's lots of leftovers. So three days a week, I'm somewhere where there's free food. You know what I'm saying? And it's either going in staff's stomach, or it's going in the bin. So, I figure, fuck it. I'll eat that. Yep. But I do agree with, like, the whole vegan thing. It's true, man. They treat those animals bad. EGX. Is that the Blackpool thing? I think I'm going to Blackpool. Yo, is there someone else behind me? What the fuck? No, I need a uh, sword. Chop his head. Fucking head off. Get his head. Birmingham. Oh, um, I don't think so. Oh, yes. Fucking did it. Yeah, but no one would care. Like, the animals wouldn't care either. Like, well, the animals would be around, just the ones in the farms wouldn't be around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you can't get laid in Blackpool, cut it off. Yeah, that's about right, probably. There's some scutty fucking women and men in that place. Scutty. But yeah, like, if we didn't eat animals, the only ones that wouldn't be there are the ones in the fucking factories. All the other animals that are still around would be around. In fact, probably more be around because then we'd be like, more respectful of animals and shit, man. Oh, I'm way out of tracking area. Right, okay, back. I 
Hello, lady. My, that's a short skirt you got on there, might I say. Being a bit provocative in the office, aren't we? Yes. The secret lair. I did that one. What's this? Birthday drive-by? Someone. Get to the chopper. <laughs> yeah. Get to the chopper. Fuck her riding a pussy. Jesus Christ. That man is the president of the world. You can grab him by the pussy. You can grab him by the pussy. Like, whatever you think about anything else. Do you want the most powerful man in the world to be someone who reckons you can go around grabbing people by the pussy just because of your celebrity cachet? That's not a fucking man of integrity. Neither was Obama, but holy shit, let's not even get started on all that. Get to the chopper. What am I doing? Am I saving her? How am I saving her? What the f Holy! Jane, I'll save you. No, what's that? Uh. There's too many. Oh no. Don't forget you can turn around. Bullet. Uh. Oh, she's already dead. She did not get to the chopper. No. It's not a tumor. <laughs> Classic. Oh man, they don't make them like they used to. Arnie films, fucking brilliant. Why is your top three Arnie films? Go. Everybody's got a top three Arnie films. Fucking hell, the man's a legend. Mine, I don't know in what order. Twins. Fucking twins. Yes, I said it. I'd be tempted to put Kindergarten Cop in there as well, but really you only need one of those two. And twins is the better one, let's be, let's be honest. Number two. Terminator, obviously. First one. Although both is good. Jingle all the way. <laughs> Fuck you, Phil. Fuck you, Jingle all the way. You are taking the piss now. Get to the chopper. Oh yeah, number three. Number three. I didn't think this through. Commando. Alright, let's go with Commando. Fuck it. Uh. It's turbo time! Oh, oh, oh. No! I left it too late! Yo, God Cannon, how's it going? How is it going? So this is my first time playing this game. And we're on Get to the Chopper. We have to help Indiana Jane. She's 23 years old. She needs to get to the Chopper. Commander T2 Predator. Predator is fucking amazing. They just don't make them. Films don't have balls like they used to, man. I'm not even, like... They just... Films are too, like... I don't know what, what it is. Like, maybe they're too self-aware or something. They're too kind of meta or something, you know. There's just, like, something about 80s fucking films. 80s action films. 80s comedy films. 80s fucking romance films. They're just better. Is that just me? Is that my age? That's my nostalgia. Right. <gasps> Jane! Run! No, that sounds hilarious. Coming all the time. Is that to do with sperm? You being rude. Turn it round. Oof. I can't see a thing. No. Well, he had wandering hands too, didn't he? Apparently. They're fucking all that. Eh? Jesus Christ. So many fucking reprobates. Powerful reprobates. Oh, yeah. Jane, get to the chopper. Okay. 
I'm gonna save you this time. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. This guy. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Trying to kill you and stuff. This guy. Now he's gonna tear that fucking gun right. Fuck you. I can't show you back at him though, apparently. That's a pisser. Oh, now he's got his gun. Knife out. Ah, uh, strip you! I strip you! Ah! Uh, I fuck you! Ah! Uh, I fuck you! Ah! Uh. Oh shit! I took her clothes off. Sorry! Oh! I raped her and then she died. Kate, stop mourning about your knee. Jesus Christ! Always going on about your knee, Kate. Will you stop mourning about your knee, Kate? Escort Indiana Jane to the inbound chopper. The fanatics want their idol back. Everyone's got knee pain, Kate. Jesus. Yeah, Hollywood's full of fucking paedophiles, by the way. Jesus Christ. Well, it's, it seems to be, in powerful circles, the perverted ones amongst them get away with it because they're fucking powerful. So you've got all different types of personality that occur across different uh, castes, groups of people, that kind of thing, you know, classes, whatever. Um, yeah. So, the perverts that happen to be powerful Get away with that shit <laughs> uh, uh. Uh. Shit uh. Oh no, oh, I'm getting slaughtered, she's dead Oh no, I'm not very good at this game That's just the bare truth she did not get to the chopper. Let's try a different level. This is intense. And I've got a dry throw up. Right, wait a sec. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to go outside the tracking area. Okay, we're back in the room. We are back in business. Back in business and ain't it swell. Bugsy Malone, man. Classic. That's another 80s classic. Is that 80s? That's 70s, actually. Yeah, well, Bugsy Malone is 70s, I think. Rick Mail. Fuck. Rick Mail's a legend. Was a legend. R.I.P. Birthday drive by Don and Anna, age 84. Happily married. There is. Favorite 80s movies, come on, go. That's the fucking thing. Favorite 80s movies. Threat, a birthday surprise ruined by cars and ammo. Okay, okay. I mean, you think, you know, I think Ferris Bueller, obvious ones. But some, what about some 80s hidden gems? That's what I want. I want you guys to tell me some 80s hidden gems and I'll be able to reference the chat afterwards. Give me some 80s hidden gems. Yeah, Back to Future's up there with the uh, fucking best, obviously, but yeah. Let's, let's list some, on second thoughts, let's list some uh, 80s hidden gems. Hawk the Slayer. Now, yeah, I think I've seen that years and years ago as a child. Demons, never heard of that one. I'll check it. But I'm sure I watched Hawk the Slayer when I was young, but I don't remember much about it. It's one of those kind of really vague, primordial memories. I'm sure I have. Like a dude in fur with a hawk and this fire and s fights and things. Crocodile Dundee, man. That is a classic. Gremlins is a classic. Right. Oh, got a freaky fucking clown over there. Right, this car coming. Dude, you need to move out of the way. Like, seriously. Um, I just... Um, I'm trying to move you, not your clothes. Harry and the Hendersons. Not a bad film. Right, so I just stripped Grandad. I'm trying to get him to move out of the way, but um, coming to America. No, oh, death to Grandad and me. Oh no, Don's birthday celebration is about to be ruined by a madman in a car. 
Both he and his wife are policy holders and must survive, but that filthy clown is your call. Galaxina. Galaxina, I've not heard of that one, that's a nice one. We're going down the full-on 80s B-movie route here, aren't we? Well, this is some fucking obscure shit you guys are coming up with. This is, you raised the game. This is some, you, you're you talking about some obscure, low-budget, 80s B-movie awesomeness. Yeah, that title can only mean B-movie, low-budget, awesomeness. Well, I don't know what to do. I'll just go over here. If it's bad taste, I think I have. I don't want to take your clothes off. Granddad, seriously. Um, just... Um, oh, but I attach the balloons to Granddad? That didn't work. Oh. So attaching balloons to Granddad does not work. Granddad still dies. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Don's birthday celebration is about to be ruined by a madman in a car. Both he and his wife are policy holders hmm. and must survive, but that filthy clown is your call. That filthy clown is your call. So I gotta do something as a clown. I just strip the clown. There's a lot of stripping people in this game. This is this is basically the um, harassment simulator at the moment. Killer clowns from outer space. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, granddad. Yes, and it works. Two balloons. Yeah, baby. Go, Granddad. It's up. It's up. What? Oh, I died. Oh, Grandma died. There's someone in the fucking car with a sh gun. It did say there would be bullets. It did say there would be bullets. And there was bullets. He's not coming down, man. That's it. Grandad's has a kite. Grandad is off his tits. Little Shop of Horrors. Oh my god, that's one of my favourite films of all time. Easily. I know pretty much all the words to the songs of that film as well. When I was younger, just a bad little kid, my mama told me funny things I did. Like shooting puppies with the BB gun. I poisoned guppies, and when I was done, I found a pussy cat bashing his head. So when my mama said, "What did she say?" She said, "My boy, I think someday you'll find a way to make your natural tendencies pay. You'll be a dentist." Sing it with me, guys. Don't leave me hanging. I know you guys are just sat there, fucking silent, not singing. Sing with me, guys. Don't leave me hanging. You have a talent for causing things pain. Son, be a dentist. Your temperament's wrong for the priesthood. And teaching would suit you still less. Son, be a dentist. You'll be a success. Here he is, guys, the leader of the pack. Watch him suck up that gas. Oh, my God. He is sadistic. Something, 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 something. Unresolved. Get to the chopper. That was difficult. So I did secret there. So the blue ones are unresolved. So these are done. Yeah. Say ah. <laughs> say ah. <laughs> now spit. The bit, fucking the bit with Bill Murray as well. The bit with Bill Murray when he comes in to the dentist is a legendary. Well, the film is. Legendary scene after legendary scene after legendary scene. Fucking little shop of horrors. If you haven't seen that, you are missing out. Your life is not complete. If you never thought you'd like a musical, I challenge you to watch Little Shop of Horrors and not enjoy it. It's a musical, but fuck me. Director's cut, yeah, with the um with the alternative ending. 
Yeah. That's how it originally ended in the stage show, obviously, because it was it started off as a stage show years years ago before the film was made, and um, it started off with the plant winning and eating everyone. It was a much better ending. I've been to see it live twice. Shit. Oh god. I should have got that thing. I did get that thing. Bullet. Bullet. Jesus. Oh god. Knives. Ah. Get to the chopper! Have you, what, is that it? Is that the last guy? You got a knife, you got a knife, haven't you? That's the last guy. Go on, Jane. Get to the chopper. Man, she's got some treasure, so like, she's definitely stealing something. And does it really belong to a museum? Finders keepers. Yeah, they did. They gave it a happy ending for Hollywood, man. But, you know, <laughs> that's, <laughs> they didn't need to do that, man. Like, I think people could have handled that with their ending. It was funny. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Another classic. Wish you could see what now. Nitro, my cat, is curled up in a ball just to the left of me. Just to the left of the kind of extremes of the play area. So thankfully, I'm not going to stand on him. Let the right one in. I have. I think is that the one where it's remade? <laughs> My daddy looks like vaginas all day long. The best. Um, oh, what's the name? What's the name for vagina doctor? Mine's gone blank. You have also caused a lot of collateral damage, but the costs so far have been acceptable. Please follow me now. Anyway, the best joke to do with a vagina doctor is our friends. This section I remember. Our most yeah, the original. I saw the original. I don't think I saw the remake. Funny. <laughs> 0328. Right. Gynecologist. Right, the best gynecologist joke is on Friends. Where the guy goes, you haven't seen it. Hang on, let him do his spiel. We look forward to seeing how you cope with an even higher case slope than before. So like, so like, you know, you think that, you know, being a gynecologist would be a lot of fun, but no, because, you know, it's like, what was it, what was it, it said, um, I'm not going to do this joke justice, it's a friend saying, I used to like friends, you know, sue me, it was the 90s, it's a crazy time, um, yeah, it's like, if you work in a, it, it, <laughs> it has its downside, if you worked in a, a restaurant, like, like serving coffee all day, the last thing you want to see when you get home is a cup of fucking coffee, you know what I'm saying? You're a gynecologist, you're looking at that all day. <laughs> when you get home to your missus... <laughs> Sometimes you... Well, that's it, man. You know what I mean? They ain't all gonna be fun. They ain't all gonna be fun. And it'd be worse when they are, because if you're with someone, you... Issues. Rescue Operation Adrian Kinnan, age 19, develops high-tech weapons. Threat, beware of the automated laser tank. Of course, one must always be aware of the automated laser tank. This one, lost in the woods, Billy Bob 42, loves to hunt big game. He's a twat already. Can you, like these people that post pictures themselves, grinning with these dead fucking animals, these docile dead fucking animals that wouldn't have attacked them even if they did come close to them in the f but that they, that they were so brave that they fucking shot from like, you know, hundreds of meters away in complete safety with a fucking high powered rifle. I mean, just what kind of sadistic fucking mindset? How many cuddles, how many hugs have you missed out on as a child? To think that's a fucking worthy pastime. Jesus Christ. I know humans are sadistic in general, but that's just like putting it in big neon fucking letters. Like, humans are evil anyway. Like, if you eat meat, you know, with this, every, all the normal shit that people do contributes to some bad stuff. Like, whether you like it or not. But yeah, 
Trophy hunting. Trophy hunting, man, is just like another level. Assholery. Find him and help him return to camp. Lost in the woods, he's not gonna survive till morning. I gotta find his way back to camp. There's bears, there's traps. Holy shit. This is it, you know, survival. Anything goes. But we know we can um we can survive without the whole thing. Right, do what? Do, do, just throw this over there, that'll do. I might have needed that. So, oh, I've got to find this dude. Oh, there he is. Yo! Is that a baddie? <laughs> you want a kebab? Mmm, kebab. I think, was that a baddie? Who is that? That's a torch. Oh! <gasps> right. Yo! I don't think he likes me. That dude doesn't look like... Is it? Oh, okay. Now out of the way. I don't know if it looks really... Oh shit, there's bears. So how, what the fuck am I supposed to do about bears? Oh, use the traps probably. Because it's a bear trap. It's Ryu with a beard. No, oh, he's gonna get killed by the bear, but no more traps. Oh shit. Oh, that one's closed already. Oh god. What are those? Those flares? Yes! He's dead. Oh shit. Right. So there's flares, there's traps that I don't want to throw away, that I want to use. Oh, Billy Bob, Jesus Christ, I was getting lost in the fucking woods, Billy Bob. Lie, Billy. Like Billy, Billy Bob. Jesus Christ. I wish I could just hold this. Um, it would be really helpful if I could hold this torch without having to hold the um, trigger down. Oh, he's not there this time. He's somewhere else. Holy shit. There he is. Yo! Right. Oh, what? Did I just kill him? Oh. Right, so if he runs into my trap that I'm holding in my hand, that triggers it. That's helpful to know. Slow more running, check that. You need blood, nigga, more than enough. You need blood, nigga, more than enough. You need blood, nigga, more than enough. Wait, how's that song start? Start? Yeah, that's a fucking awesome song. How's that? Oh, shit. Too late. How's that song start? Start me off on that one. Krellborn, Krellborn, it's supper time. Supper time. I don't know. I don't know. I have so, so many strong reservations. Tell it to the Marines. Should I go and perform mutilations? You didn't have nothing till you met B. So come on, boy, what will it be? Money? Girls? How about one particular girl? How about that Audrey? Oh, 
Gee, I sure would like a Harley machine Tooling around like I was James Dean Making all the guys on the corner turn green You're gonna get it if you want it, baby Would you like a Cadillac car Or a get shot on Jay Paul Have a date with Hedley Ma You're gonna get it if you want it, baby how would you like to be a big wheel? Dining out for every meal. I'm the plan to make it all real. You're gonna get it. You're so nasty, treating her rough. Knocking her around, no, talking so tough. You need blood, he's got mother in the Oh fucking classic man. Oh let's just have a let's just have a fucking little shop of horrors night. Let's just get together, man. Just watch little shop of horrors together online or some shit. Down on Skid Row, down on Skid Row. Oh, you, what was it? No, by Subway. Oh, shit. I am not keeping this dude alive. Uptown, you cater to a million jerks. Wait, is my phone ringing? Oh, that's a game. That was a noise on the game. I thought my phone was ringing then. I do have one missed message from my missus. You go downtown. Where's he for this slap? You go downtown. Oh, God. Every frame of that film, man. Right. Just one more time. I'm trying to do this bare fucking bloody level. In bloody level. Yeah, I said it. Yes. So that's closed though, that's not good. I do need a torch. I'm gonna take a fucking flare. How do we because I tell you how we didn't mention Ghostbusters because as soon as I brought up 80s I then switched to ask for like hidden gems. Not that little shop is a hidden gem. But yeah, Ghostbusters is number one, is fucking classic. I mean that's top ten list shit every time. But if we moved on to hidden gems, Ghostbusters ain't no hidden gem. That's a known gem. Right. Where's all oh, the pla oh, the bears are gonna come out of that fucking cave, aren't they? Or are they? Or oh, he stepped on it all this time. He stepped on a thing. Oh God. Right. Let's try something else. I suck at this level. Oh, there's loads of levels in here. Check this shit. What's this over here? I haven't even looked at these yet. And what? This dude, look, you're looking smooth, man. Can I borrow your shades? Cheers. Cheers, guy. Cheech and Chong, yeah, another film that I do have vague memories of watching when I was very young, probably too young to appreciate it, to be honest, and I need to go back to that, definitely, I need to watch uh, Cheech and Chong again, Phil Clown, Terrible Juggler, nice, let's do that, oh, we can do some VR juggling, I can juggle in real life, guys, like, most people can, yeah, okay, but I learned how to juggle three clubs, I haven't made the transition to four of anything yet. Princess Bride, yeah, that's awesome, that's up there. That's a known entity. No, look! Depressed clown on a ledge. He's a fake clown, he's a terrible juggler. Need to go over some paperwork with Bob. Okay, um... What, uh... Yo! Yo! Oh, I, sh I should have had that paper. Oh. 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 That didn't help. He's dead. Sorry, Bob. I'm not entirely sure how I was supposed to save him with, um,. With a piece of paper. You 
you need Clown Bob to review his policy. Unfortunately, the situation is somewhat... Buckaroo Banzai, I have not heard of that. That's another one that sounds like a hidden gem. Nice. Uh, that's good. The, man, the more obscure, the better. I'm going to soak up some of that 80s awesomeness. Phil Clown Terrible Juggler. Yo! So exactly how am I supposed to... <coughs> I mean... Almost an angel. Nope. I think I've heard of that. I've not seen it. Yo. Um, this thing. Yo. No. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. This is a quandary. Oh, there's a pen there. Oh! Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was his name? Shit. Crocodile Dundee. Paul. Paul McShane? No. Is it Paul McShane? Right, I think I don't know what I need to do now. There is a thing there. There was a pen somewhere else. Paul Hogan, that's it. Right. There was a pen there. Does he have a pen on him? Do I have to get him to sign it? Where is his pen? I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. There was a pen a minute ago. Alright, 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 alright. Let's just survey the area. We found that mysterious pen somewhere. Nope. Alright. For this level, live stream is not the place for repetitious, repetitious trial and error. I'll try and make it a little bit interesting. There's a lot of fucking levels in here. See, you know if Perp now bring this out on disc, I'm gonna be so pissed off. I, pay, I spent a whole five pound on it already. I come out on disc for like twenty quid, and I'll buy it all over again. <gasps> Mr. Sanderson, <laughs> nice. Not the one. Mr. Sanderson. Human race is a plague on the planet. Oh, I don't know the words to that scene, but that's a fucking good scene. A virus. Humans are a virus. So true. Kung Fu skills questionable. A hail of bullets approaches our client. So basically, catching bullets. Taking names. Yo. Mr. Sanderson is convinced he has the power. Mr. Sanderson. Luckily for him. Mr. Sanderson. Yo. Right, 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 okay. A hail of bullets. Just lots of lots of lots of Bullets. Oh shit. Lots of bullets. <sighs> Holy shit, bricks. Am I even in the right place? You can do some jumping around. You can like try and actually dodge these bullets, you know. You're supposed to be fucking Mr. Sanderson. Hmm. Oh, he's down. Oh, I can do this one. Come on. Mr. Sanderson. Mr. Sanderson is convinced he has the power to stop bullets. Well, um, yeah, he does. So, um, I don't know. Oh, am I dead already? Oh, Jesus Christ. Chopping mall. Another one. Cool. That's another 80s one. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. I'll check that out. I'm going to check all these suggestions in, in the live chat when I go over it. Knife factory. Who wouldn't want to work in a knife factory? 
a Blaco. I'm gonna have to eat something in a minute and have a drink. Seriously, this game's cool. I'm liking it. Blade Co. Manufacture. Alrighty then. What's this dude up to? There's knives under there. Error. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Dead. He's dead in the head. He got deaded. Fuck this. Alright, listen, guys, I'm gonna cut this stream off here. It's been fun, but I think I need to take a break, take the heads off, and, um, yeah, go and get a drink. But it's been fun. Cheers for joining me. Anybody who's still here, um, that's it. That's the end of the stream. I'm gonna end it here. This is just in time incorporated. It's pretty cool. I recommend it. Especially on sale. I don't think it's still on sale. I don't think it is still on sale. But it was for £5. Alright, okay, that's that.